-hmm. When you say uh, you're talking to the Israelis about their response, mm -hmm. does that mean that you are coordinating the details of the response, the scope? Not necessarily. Um, what do you mean by talking to the Israelis? Sure. So I think uh, without going into private conversations, what I could tell you, it's more about trying to understand what what their response might be. Um, I'm just not going to be able to go into further details than that. Okay. When you when you are trying to understand what mm -hmm. the response is going to be, uh, are you confident that the Israelis uh, will 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 give you a notice in advance uh, when and where? the response is going to take place? Yeah, so Joe... Or they're going to keep you in the dark? What I can tell... Well, I, you know, great question. Same question that Idris asked me. Uh, my answer has not really changed. Well, let me, let, me, let me then try and tackle this different question. Um, so in terms of advance notice, we are in... We are talking to them about their response. I'm just not going to be able to go into more details than that. Um, in terms of the, you know, advance notice, again, we're, we're talking to them. In terms of targets, what they might, you know, what a response might look like, those aren't things that I'm just going to detail from the podium and, frankly, not going to go into additional private conversations. Okay, last, one, last sure. thing is uh, just I'm trying to understand. So you're talking to the Israelis because you are concerned that their response could escalate the... the the, the situation in the region, or you're talking to them because you are you have plans in advance to assist them in their response. So I think what the president has said is that um, you know Israel has a right to respond. I, I would remind you that um, on October first we saw two nearly two hundred ballistic missiles launched towards Israeli territory with the atten intention um, to kill innocent civilians, to do damage to infrastructure. And um, because of the incredible coordination between the United States and the Israeli military, we were effective in, you know, combating and, and, and mitigating damage and preventing, you know, um, uh, massive casualties from that attack. Um, so Iran did fail in its attack against Israel. Um, but I have to, you know, also remind you when it comes to how we're talking about, you know, how Israel might respond, these are conversations. And these are conversations that don't just happen in 15 minutes. They happen over time. Um, the secretary has been regularly engaging Minister Gallant, you know, pretty much for the last two weeks, almost every day. Um, I'm not going to, while I'm not going to go into those detailed conversations, um, it's not something that just happens in a vacuum. It happens over conversations, not just here at this building, but across the interagency, and, and that includes the White House as well. Buddy. Thank you.